uh, after you register your account in GitLab, you will be landing on this uh, dashboard page. And this is basically the page where your all your project will be stored. So to create a new project, uh, just click to the new project button here. Uh, create a name for your project. So for this demo, I will just call it demo and I will make it a public one. And uh, yeah, I will initiate this uh, readme file as well and uh, create a project. All right, so this is my uh, project name and it has one file with readme, which is named, uh, which has uh, some text, is a demo. So, okay, so what we need to do now, we need to clone it. So first of all, uh, go here, go to the clone button and clone this HTTPS uh, URL. Uh, but actually before copy to the source tree, we will need to modify the URL a little bit. So this is my, this is the URL of my project. Uh, this is my username and this is a project git file. So what I will need to add here, I will need to copy my username, add it here and add the add sign here. And this will be my full uh, URL. So I will need to copy it and then uh, open source tree. Uh, actually close this window from a previous project and here uh, I will need to click to the new link and the clone from URL. Add the link here and destination path and the name will be pre-populated. If you want to change it you can do it here. So for me I will leave it empty and after adding it you will need to see this message identifying this is a git repository. Uh, after that, I will need to clone it. Oh, I'm, I'm already have this uh, project, so I will need to rename it to demo one. All right. So this is a uh, pro like this project was initi uh, initiated and the clone it. So and it has uh, it has all the content. So to access it, I can open it in a Finder. And let me actually change it for demo purposes. Let's say uh, initial change from source tree. All right, and after that, save it and close it. After it's saved, if you'll go to file status, you'll see this, it's it identifies that the file was changed. So here, uh, let's do a test commit and push. So to commit, you will need to leave a message saying that uh, initial commit from source tree. And if you want to push it right away, you will need to click this uh, push checkbox and uh, click to the commit button. All right, after you, after you will do that, uh, let's go back to the dashboard. Let's refresh the page. And uh, yeah, you see your commit is displayed here. And if you open the readme file, you will see that your uh, changes is uh, represent on the GitLab page. All right, so this is how you're gonna work with uh, Source3 and GitLab.